So recently we've been unboxing a lot of gaming keyboards and mice, but what about other peripherals? Insert this portable monitor by Ozai. This has a 15.6 inch full HD IPS display and it currently retails for $180 on Amazon. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and I'll also give you guys my first impressions of it. Pay close attention to the description below as I will be updating it with any new findings. Let's go ahead and get started. Taking a look at the front of the box, you'll notice it has the Ozai brand name here in the middle. It's not embossed any textures, none of that. Pretty straightforward and simplistic. Here on the side, you'll notice much of the same. Ozai here on the middle of the left side, as well as a little tag. I believe this tag is related to Amazon. It does have a barcode, as well as a little brief description here. It does mention that a protector is included, and of course, it's brand new. Here on the bottom side, you don't have anything. Here on the top side, you don't have anything there as well. And then here on the right side, much of the same, just a straightforward brand name, Ozai. Now, on the back, just taking a quick glance at these specs, I found some other specs to be a little bit more relevant than what they've added here. But anyways, full disclosure guys, this monitor was sent out to me by review. So if you guys have been following the channel for some time, you know that's not going to affect my review in any way. But anyways, taking a look at the back here, Ozai 15.6 inch portable monitor. You do have some of the uh, brand information right here. Now taking a look at the specifications, pretty lightweight, 650 grams. Even me holding the box and all of its contents, it's already pretty light so I'm expecting a pretty lightweight and portable monitor here here's some other specs it is IPS display if you're not familiar with that basically IPS displays tend to have some pretty strong vibrant colors they tend to be pretty bright with good viewing angles as you see here it talks about that briefly as well as some of the other monitor specs now here at the bottom you'll notice that it does have an interface for a headphone jack and there are built-in speakers I'm not really expecting amazing speaker quality out of any monitor especially a portable one but it's a nice uh, addition that they even have that at all that's pretty much it for the box so let's go ahead and open it up Design language on this box reminds me of a lot of Apple products. So Apple tends to be pretty simplistic when it comes to their boxing design. So I feel like they're kind of taking a page out of Apple's book, but let's see if they have that same Apple quality as well. Okay, finally at long last we got it open. So as far as the contents guys, the very first thing you'll see here is a screen protector. It's a nice touch they added at all, but I wish they would have added two because I typically tend to mess up the first install before I get it right. But they have that. And then you have of course an insert, the user manual. Here are the uh, contents. So there is your user manual, there's the back. Now, the next thing here, you have the actual monitor in itself. Let's see if I can get this out carefully. So here it is. I can feel the folio case that it comes in. If you guys are familiar with the channel, I typically save the most important piece for last. So we'll get to that in a second because there are a few more contents. Now, as far as the packaging goes, it is very soft, but sturdy foam here on the inside. So I'm pretty content with the quality of the packaging there. Now, as far as accessing the contents in the back, you kind of stick your finger in here and remove this padding. You have a microfiber cloth, pretty good size cloth. And then here on the left side, you do have a couple cables. The first cable appears to be a type C cable with your classic USB A end over here. And then over here, you have a type C to type C cable. Now, mistakenly, I didn't know that this monitor came with cables already. So I went ahead and brought a couple sets already, but I'll go ahead and test these out and see how these fare and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Anyways, as far as the last cable, you do have a mini HDMI to full size HDMI cable. Really good addition here. Obviously HDMI is a really popular connection, but however, mini HDMI, not as popular. So definitely a worthy inclusion here. As far as the rest of the box, sounds like there's an adhesive backing there. So I'm assuming there's nothing else beyond this point. So. Let's go ahead and check out that monitor. Here it is, it is wrapped up in a little bit of plastic and it is already in a folio case of some sort. Let's go ahead and open it up. This doesn't open up very well, you just gotta tear it open. All right. So first impressions, this folio case or whatever you want to call it does look like it resembles leather. It isn't actually leather. I believe it's a little bit of plastic, but it has a premium feel to it. So there it is. Now the ports on the sides are exposed here. Take a look at this other side. 
So we'll go ahead and review those ports here in a bit, but let's go ahead and take a look at this case. So it opens at this point right here, it is a magnetic. So pretty good magnetic force here for the opening and closing of the case, pretty sturdy in that department. Let's go ahead and open it up. So the way it opens up, and you can see my reflection a little bit there, but the way that it opens up is like so. You just flip over that folio case. Now there are a few notches here at the bottom of the case. Doesn't have too many options. You got two notches in total, one right here and one right here, depending on what viewing angle you want. The notches appear to be sufficiently deep, so I don't see this sliding anytime soon. Also, if you notice here at the bottom, there are some rubber feet, so that's going to help the monitor stay in place. Now one thing that you might not be able to see here is that this case is attached to the monitor via magnetic force so you can totally remove this if you need to and the monitor in itself guys is extremely extremely lightweight quite honestly I would say that this case weighs as much as this monitor I don't have a scale to verify that but pretty lightweight so as far as the design of the monitor goes you'll notice here towards the top two-thirds of the monitor is relatively flat whereas the port area Area and the dial on the other side it protrudes a little bit it's a little bit more thick on that portion but rightfully so as obviously you have the connections and the chipset and whatnot let's go ahead and take a look at the actual ports here on this side you'll notice there are three of them one of them is for the mini HDMI I said this previously it's not as common to have this kind of cable so thankfully they included one you do have two type C ports one of these two which I believe is this one is strictly for power supply while the second one here is for the data transmission depending on the peripheral that you're connecting to this is going to depend on whether or not you need an additional power supply. So there are some laptops and other electronics that sufficiently power this enough that you only need one cable. So make sure you check out your electronics and what you're going to be hooking up to this to see whether or not you're going to be needing to use two cables versus one. Now on the other side you'll notice there is a button in place right here. There's one button right here and there's also a dial. You can scroll this to the left and the right and you can also press the that in you control the menu with this as well as the volume now here at the bottom you do have a headphone jack like I said previously this does come with built-in speakers honestly I don't expect too much out of that but it does have the addition of this 3.5 millimeter jack here if you do want to attach headphones or another speaker set so there's that anyways let's go ahead and fire it up obviously it's a portable monitor so there's just a slew of different uses but I'll go ahead and give you guys four ways that I would personally utilize this All right guys, so obviously that last part was a joke, but anyways, I did get to use the portable monitor quite a bit. And as far as first impressions go, I have to say I am really, really impressed. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros. One shocking pro that I found while using this monitor is the quality of the speakers. I hooked up my Nintendo Switch and started playing Super Smash Brothers and the audio quality was 100% playable. Obviously not among the best, but definitely better than what you would expect from a portable monitor. It was definitely a bump up from the speakers on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously I don't have any calibration tools but as far as the colors go, the colors as I expected were pretty good. The case is a little bit plastic. It can seem pretty cheap at times but it is lightweight and portable. As far as the display in itself goes, I have no complaints. The colors look phenomenal. The viewing angles are pretty good. I can definitely see multiple people hooking those up to a Nintendo Switch and playing a multiplayer game. I've heard some complaints about the monitor being easily moved in and out of the notch of the carrying case but I 
personally didn't have any issues with that. The rubber feet definitely helped tremendously. As far as any other criticisms aside from it feeling cheap at times, I can't really think of anything. I think the monitor seems to be high quality. I do wish that it did come with a second screen protector because I did have to spend quite a bit of time getting that first one just right. To be honest, I was quite impressed with the experience of using the monitor, so I'm really glad to have it. Now, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you are interested in this monitor and would like to support the channel, please use my affiliate link below. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up if you liked the video, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Lil Rice Muncher Gaming, signing off. Thanks.